This, what I'm starting with here is a Gamma Gatsu L11S-3H. Um, I like it for this purpose because it has a big ring eye and uh, it's fairly heavy wire. So um, I'm not going to end up using that much of this hook, but this is just going to be sort of the chassis that we're going to start with. What I've also got here in my other hand is a uh, Gamma Gatsu octopus hook, and I've got it rigged already with a loop of uh, Senyo's uh, intruder wire. And so I've got my shank prepared with some thread. I'm going to put the wire through the eye. And here, one of the hard parts about doing this is getting uh, your back hook here that you're putting on to be parallel with the front hook because I really want that uh, to be straight, um, sort of aligned with the way the fly is going to swim in the water when I finish it up. And you can see I brought my head back roughly to the hook point on the gant, this guy, the front hook, and uh, I tied this in, pulled it back a little ways, now I'm going to bring my thread forward, coming over the wire, all the way up to the eye. There we are. Now I'm going to grab this, bring this on the underside of the front hook, and go ahead and wrap my way back. Now this stuff can be sort of hard to cut. You certainly don't want to use your favorite pair of scissors. This is an old pair here. I'm going to get in and cut that wire. And by bringing the wire over the shank, through the eye and back like this, and then securing it with a bunch of wraps, uh, you know, you've got a way here that that is never going to fail. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on now and put my eyes on here. Now this, the top of this hook here is going to end up being the bottom of the fly when I finish it. So I'm going to go ahead and took, put the eyes on the top. And like this. And I really am sort of picky about how I secure these. I'm going to put about 10 wraps in this way. Come back here. I'm going to use my fingernail and kind of torque the eyes back in the other direction. About 10 wraps there. These are a little further back than I want, so I'm going to push them forward. There we are. Now I pull back the other way, another 10 wraps. So this is one of the things that can come loose, so you want to really secure these well. You can see I'm kind of forcing it each way to secure it with the thread. Now that's plenty good there. I'm going to bring my thread back a little bit. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and use some Zappa Gap super glue here again. And I'm just going to coat everything that I've done to make the fly durable and ensure that that uh, wire uh, cannot pull out and off of the shank. It's going to be a little sticky, but I'm going to go ahead and start with my next material, which is this uh, UV uh, polar chenille. And this is a, a hot pink here I'm using. So we're going to do a pink and purple fly and tie that in right there, several wraps. And this is a really quick way to add some body and some flash to your fly. So I'm going to do um, about five wraps of this. Pulling the material back, combing it back with my fingers with each wrap. And I'll go ahead and tie that off. Now here I'm going to go ahead and flip the hook in the vise. So that this will be up relative to the way the fly is going to ride in the water. All right, now I'm ready to put my bunny in here, and I've got a piece of pink uh, two-tone rabbit strip. This is pink and purple, purple tip. I'm going to pull a little bit of the fluff off the front here, so I've got a nice piece of exposed leather to tie in. Try to get that squarely on top of the hook here. Go ahead and secure that with a couple wraps or several. And this is one of the sort of the weaker points of the fly. This is you know something that could fail, that bunny pulling out. So you want to be uh, careful to secure that pretty well. And I've got some glue underneath. When you're doing this at home, adding a dollop of uh, additional glue wouldn't hurt. And now I'm going to measure the length of my tail and go ahead and cut the bunny. And I'm going to want this to be just about uh, the leather of the bunny to be about as far back as uh, my uh, octopus trailer hook here. Trim that, and that is good. Next step is going to be to add my marabou. And uh, you know that polar chenille underneath, of course add some flash, but it also is going to help sort of hold out the rest of the fly and give it a nice big profile in the water. Uh, one thing I really like about this fly is without uh, much effort or a lot of materials, you can achieve a really nice uh, 
um, sizable silhouette in the water. Go ahead and trim the tip of that feather. I'm ready to wrap. And this is a pink and purple one, but I mean, oh, black, yeah. black and red, black and purple. Yeah, that's 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 a great point. I mean, I, I, I've fished this fly in a host of colors. Um, favorites, just like a lot of flies, being, you know, black and red, black and blue, like Chris is saying. But you, you, can, you can do all sorts of different things and achieve all kinds of effects with this fly by varying, uh, you know, the materials and colors of the materials that you use. Um, one thing I've been doing lately instead of uh, instead of that that UV um, polar chenille material is um, instead using the uh, Enrico Puglisi squirrel brush um, and that that uh, doesn't add as much flash but gives you some really nice bulk without a whole lot of effort and just you know two three turns of that stuff will do you certainly um, you know, varying the, the eyes, size, and color, you can achieve some cool effects as well. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and add some flash. And this one, you know, I'm tying this for, for winter purposes, and maybe the water's going to be a little dark, so I'm going to add more flash to this one. And I'm going to take three pieces of flash of boo on each side, um, secure it in just ahead of the marabou, add some more on the other side. Now I'm going to fold these back on themselves here. Okay, kind of clump them all together like that. Pull on them a little bit so as you get a little thread on top of them you'll get them all the fibers sort of headed in the same direction. Alright, and we're getting close to done here. And You can see this is a really quick fly to manufacture. Um, now I'm adding some uh, guinea dyed pink Tying that in by the tip as well. And with all these feathers, we're going to go ahead and fold it. Secure that with a few wraps and I'll trim the quill. And go ahead and whip finish. And we can go ahead and trim our flash to length. We're going to want that to be about the length of the tail. So we can hold it back like that, measure it out, and clip. At this point you can take the fly out of the vise and of course we've still got two, two hooks on here which we don't want for fishing purposes so once you tie the fly you're going to kind of pull the materials forward and you'd come in here with a pair of wire cutters or pliers of some sort and cut the hook right about there.